hands down one of my favorite places on earth. Alright, I'm doing my best to, to be like my guys, you know, working on bike three for the weekend. <laughs> Brought this bad boy all the way from Andorra. Gonna do some riding, I think, with Loris so and maybe Andy also. We were talking about maybe riding from here in, in Czech Republic to Austria for next weekend's IDM race. But I don't know, you never know what we might get into, so bringing it just in case. Yeah, this guy, he's looking for everything wrong with my bike, huh? You need to set the caliper back off. Well, no, I think it's been off the whole time, that's why. How I... did you put it back on? Huh? I, I never put it back on. I never adjusted it. Really? Look, I'll, I like to keep the, the caliper rubbing a little bit because sure. it just makes me stronger as a rider, Dude. you know? And I can still smoke you. It it holy even... shit. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. It's perfect like that. That's how I get those extra watts. <laughs> and this one touched a little bit. It's not perfect. Well, that's not fair. This one's new. <laughs> <laughs> this, one's, this one's brand new. That's not fair. Like, I don't want to make these two tight. hit. Oh, <laughs> man, dude. Look at that. You just sipped yourself 50 watts. I'm about to be in Tour de France. <laughs> Crazy. There we go. All right, I guess I should thank you, maybe. <laughs> Welcome to the Czech Republic. It's a lovely day out here. We love the rain. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you can see, we're going into turn one, where I popped both of my tires last year, which I think is why this year we have rocks for tires, like a rock-hard compound. Yeah. So, uh, this stuff isn't great. Not great for grip. Wasn't here last year, so fun, fun. I was wheeling everywhere. I think it was just. I think it was just sitting down. Well, I don't understand. The MotoGP bikes they have a squat thing to, to help reduce wheelie. That's kind of what's happening, but I'm getting more wheelie, so I don't understand how it works. But really, not, I don't have any comment except that the, the rear felt like it actually was like had some grip. That'll be good information for when we run with the dry set and see whether that changes. Just now, yeah, yeah. I, I went out and I was like, I was like, oh, okay, the tire feels pretty good. The next lap I came around, dude, no grip. But it was a light switch. And after my 33-0, if you look in turn 15 and 16, I think you'll see on the slip, like what I'm talking about. Because I, I got to the middle of 15, barely touched the throttle, uh, the lap after my 33-0. So I, I go into 15, it's fine, it's sliding a little bit, but I get to the middle of the corner, I barely touch the gas. And and the thing just steps out and I close the gas and it keeps stepping out, stepping out and then and then comes back and I'm like, dude, I can't be aggressive. Like I can't I can't force the bike anywhere. And I'm wheeling so much. Dude, I'm wheeling a ton still, a lot. Like especially out of turn two. I have I have two fingers on the rear brake just like all the way in. And and so it, like nothing it, to do with the wet set this morning then. I guess not. But uh, also I don't know if something's wrong with the wheelie control because Dander flipped the bike on the, the start. The first clutch release was okay, and then the, the, the front went down, and I went back to full throttle because I, I had I had rolled because it like it went up a bit too high. I rolled, and it came back down. I go back to full throttle, and the thing went like, dude. So I don't know if something's if there's something with the wheelie control. Be attentive, 
of it is that we had a pretty good day I would say we led a session and after some lap times got canceled we had our best qualifying of the year p6 that was super good uh, weather came in though out of nowhere and kind of messed things up a little bit a bit hectic on the grid and we were thinking well we didn't really know what we were gonna do tire wise but in the end it was like all right I think we need to do intermediates uh, we ended up not being able to change both tires because we ran out of time but we only changed the rear tire to intermediates but it was all right but it wasn't great and so I was trying to come into the pits but the lap I, I signaled to come in I just made a little bit of a mistake and went off the dry line into the wetter part of the track and just lost it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sad about it, but we got another new day and try again. Yeah, it's frustrating because um, the garage riding really well, the bike's working better every weekend and we're just desperate to, to have things fall our way and, and get a good result and we just seem to always have some bad luck in one way or another. But yeah, all positive and looking forward to today. By the way, this is John and Megan, our amazing uh, hospitality crew, doing a good job. We never put them in a video, so there they are. Recap on the weekends. Les, I might start with you. What, what do you think? <laughs> it's pretty, the potential, pretty shit. The potential is up there. <laughs> the result is up there. Nah, we just had some bad luck, but it's um, we're getting we're getting closer. 
I just bad luck. In the second race, I went to neutral going into turn one, so which is what ended up happening. Like so that's why I crashed. So it's just it shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have been able to go to neutral, but it, it happened. So I mean, just uh, just a bummer. But I know that we can do it. I know that like once once things start going right, they're gonna go really right. So we just gotta keep fighting through the uh, the hard times, adversity. I guess. The adversity, exactly. Thank God he didn't knock anybody off when he crashed. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's all I gotta say too. <laughs> Thank God, please. If uh, if you think this pasta looks good, subscribe and give the video a like. Because there's not much other. There's not another reason to like the video, probably. I don't know. All right. Well, you guys are great. Leave a comment below, I guess. Don't make it too mean, please. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Wally, do you have anything? Good pace. <laughs> Shit race. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a poet. He didn't die. <laughs> We're gonna start using him to close the videos <laughs> out. Boys, I just want to say I'm really sorry about. Uh, I keep crashing this damn thing. But you know what? As a reward, you know what I think I'm gonna get you? A luxury motorcycle tour from Moto California, if I can put the hat on. <laughs> Moto California has two locations, one in Los Angeles, California, and Florence, Italy. One of my favorite things about Moto California has to be that you unpack your bag one time. There's nothing worse than going to all these different locations, having to pack, unpack, all the whole time. Basically, you go to your luxury villa, unpack everything, and then you're free to go explore all the amazing roads around Los Angeles or Florence, Italy, whatever you choose. Everything is included. Your luxury villa that you stay at, your private chef with all the food that your heart desires, the gas, your motorcycle insurance, uh, car service. Really, it's all inclusive. If you guys want more information about Moto California, I encourage you guys to check out the website, motocalifornia.com for more information.